Sandrine Boisse is from the tourism office at Pra Loop. That's a ski resort close to the crash site. And she joins us now. Thank you for being with us on BBC News. Were you aware at the time that something had happened? Um, in fact, it was around 11 this morning, something like that. And I was at the garage just behind the mountain outside. Uh, and we hear a strange noise. And at, at first we think it was, um, you know, on a ski slopes for um, avalanche, but it wasn't the same noise. And we decided to call the gendarmerie and they ask us, uh, it was 11, something like that. It's a crash with plane. And uh, I'm a president of the tourism office of Pralou. I decided to call the department and they confirmed me the information five minutes after. At this moment, uh, it Behind the mountain, after the ski resort of Pralou, between La Fudalos and Pralou. And it's a very difficult place to go because there are a lot of snow and it's in the middle of the mountain. Um, I can give you information there, the president of the department who tried to be there uh, at this moment. And the, the ministry, Ségolène Royal of Environment from France, she go there too with the, the Ministry of the Interior, Mr. Cazeneuve, all the police of the gendarmerie and all the firemen of the department and the department around go there too. And uh, in the dean, they prepare the hospital for the family or whatever. Uh, everybody is ready right now here. But we know it's very difficult to be there and we don't have any more information at this moment. So, Andrean, is it going to be difficult for those search and rescue people to get up the mountain? Are there tracks that they can follow? But in fact, it will be difficult to say they will take a snow scoot and they're already there with dogs for avalanche. Um, and it's very difficult to fly with helicopter because there are a lot of clouds. Uh, the sky is not blue, and I think they can see a lot of things. And it will be by walk. That means perhaps they will take three hours, something like that, to arrive. And uh, I have one information, one helicopter can see, and it say they are a piece of plane around two kilometers in the mountain. Sandrine, how is the weather right now? Because it's our... cloudy. It's, and is it's it getting cloudy. is it getting worse because our uh, weather presenter came on set and said there is more snow forecast. Can you see that weather front coming in? Uh, in fact, it's cloudy at this mountain, but they have to be quick because they say tomorrow it's a very bad day with snow. That means if they have to arrive there it's this afternoon, it's very important. You mentioned earlier that the hospital is getting ready. H what yes. more can you tell us about the preparations that are being made at the moment? In fact, the hospital is ready and there are cellul psychological cellules for the family who will arrive, I think, because there are people from Spain and from Germany. We know already there are 40 people from Spain, um, minimum in the plane. And, but we don't have any more information at this moment. But we are sure there are a lot of people who will arrive in this region and the Dean Le Bain, they are ready for, for help everybody. So you're getting ready just to offer support to them when they do arrive? Sorry? You are getting ready to, to offer support and help for if uh, family members of those that have died do arrive? In fact, they open all the... Um, the hotel and hold the place to welcome the people and they organize a psychological cellule for people at the hospital in Dean. I don't have any more information.